Symbols rule the world because symbols cannot lie. They can only represent precisely the idea they are meant to carry. However, words can lie and are currently used to confuse the masses about the true meaning of some powerful symbols, including the inverted cross. Throughout history, the easiest way of identifying who's genuinely in power in a society is by observing the symbolism permeating the culture. For instance, when the Catholic Church was in power in Old Europe, symbolism, right down to street names, was all related to Catholicism. When Freemasons took power, their subtle yet unmistakable symbolism became visible in all facets of society. Symbols rule the world because those who rule it naturally represent themselves using symbolism. This remains true today. A specific set of symbols permeate society, while others are all but shunned. One accepted symbol is the inverted cross. The meaning of this powerful symbol could not be more obvious. It represents the inversion of Christianity. For this reason, it is the main symbol representing Satanism. So, what does that say about those currently ruling the world? That they are Satanists, right? However, those who currently rule the world are marketing, public relations, and disinformation experts. And they've launched an all-out campaign of disinformation to make people believe that the satanic symbol that is popping up everywhere is actually Christian. The go-to argument. The inverted cross is actually a Catholic symbol called St. Peter's Cross. While this symbol exists in a specific niche of Catholicism, nobody in Hollywood wears it to honor St. Peter. And those who claim this dubious fact are engaging in outright disinformation. Throughout the years, this channel been documenting the propagation and the normalization of the inverted cross, a powerful symbol imbued with an unmistakable spiritual meaning. Due to its blasphemous nature, the symbol used to be taboo. It can only be seen in occult circles, most notably during satanic rituals, where the vilest practices known to man took place, more on this later. However, as seen in countless Vigilant Citizen articles, the symbol lost its taboo status and became mainstream. And that is by design. Those in power wanted to become normal and even glamorous. However, when vigilant people point out this bizarre trend, fact checkers come out of the woodwork to outright lie to the public. Snopes fact checkers say there's nothing satanic about the inverted cross. They even go as far as implying that I Spice wore it to honor St. Peter's martyrdom. We all know this makes no sense, yet those are facts. From social media to Google search results, there's a clear effort to convince the masses that the inverted cross is not satanic. The first search result for inverted cross is Wikipedia's entry for Cross of St. Peter. Various memes spreading this disinformation have been popping up on social media, telling people do your research, as long as the research is limited to the Wikipedia entries. Actual research on this symbol leads directly to Satanism. The story of St. Peter's Cross originates from an apocryphal text from the 2nd century, titled Martyrdom of Peter. In this story, St. Peter requested to be crucified upside down because he believed that the values of those crucifying him were upside down. Another interpretation is that he did not find himself worthy to be crucified like Jesus. Is every instance of the inverted cross seen in popular culture today a tribute to this obscure Catholic story, not even in the Bible, from the 2nd century? Does this even make a shred of sense to you? Meanwhile, we all know that the inverted cross is one of the favorite symbols of Satanists. And we also know that Satanism is rampant in popular culture. If one uses logic, which explanation makes more sense? Satanic rituals take place on altars adorned with inverted crosses and the sigil of the Church of Satan, an inverted pentagram inside of which is the Goat of Mendes. How come fact-checkers never acknowledge this obvious fact? Let's examine some recent examples of the inverted cross in popular culture and determine whether they refer to St. Peter's martyrdom or Satanism. Is the inverted cross on Lil Uzi Vert's forehead a tribute to St. Peter, or is it a reference to a satanic ritual? Is the inverted cross on this poster of the movie Horns a tribute to St. Peter or the devil? In Roman Polanski's 1968 movie, Rosemary's Baby, the character played by Mia Farrow is groomed by a satanic cult to give birth to a baby. At the movie's end, we see an inverted cross above the baby's cradle. Does this cross honor St. Peter? Anyway, the baby in the movie is the Antichrist. Lil Nas X Nike shoes feature inverted pentagrams, the number 666, and inverted crosses. 
Do those crosses honor Saint Peter? They're literally called Satan shoes. Are the inverted crosses on this Sharon Needles cover art a tribute to Saint Peter? This drag queen also released a song called Hail Satan. I could post dozens more pictures asking the same rhetorical question. A simple look at the context surrounding the inverted cross confirms that its meaning is purely satanic. But why is the inverted cross such an essential symbol in Satanism? Because at the core of Satanism is an infernal practice. Black magic. This inverted cross wall decor features Baphomet ridiculing Christ's crucifixion. By the way, Walmart sells this item. In occultism, an inverted symbol represents corruption and perversion of the original meaning of that symbol. For this reason, those who practice black magic, occult rituals for evil or selfish purposes, use inverted symbols. In the 1897 book, Le Clef de la Maginoire, or The Key to Black Magic, French occultist Stanislas de Guetta depicts the upright pentagram as holiness, spirit over matter, and the inverted pentagram as evil, matter over spirit. In his seminal book Secret Teachings of All Ages, occultist Manly P. Hall explains how symbols, such as the pentacle, and their inversion, carry great power. In symbolism, an inverted figure always signifies a perverted power. The average person does not even suspect the occult properties of emblematic pentacles. The black magician cannot use the symbols of white magic without bringing down upon himself the forces of white magic, which would be fatal to his schemes. He must therefore distort the hierograms so that they typify the occult fact that he himself is distorting the principles for which the symbols stand. Black magic is not a fundamental art, it is the misuse of an art. Therefore it has no symbols of its own. It merely takes the emblematic figures of white magic and by inverting and reversing them, signifies that it is left-handed. The pentagram is used extensively in black magic, but when so used, its form always differs in one of three ways. The star may be broken at one point by not permitting the converging lines to touch, it may be inverted by having one point down and two up, or it may be distorted by having the points of varying lengths. When used in black magic, the pentagram is called the sign of the cloven hoof, or the footprint of the devil. The star with two points upward is also called the goat of Mendes, because the inverted star is the same shape as a goat's head. In short, the inversion of symbols is a staple in black magic. In Satanism, the Black Mass, a corruption of the Christian Mass, is the ultimate example of such inversion. This is a depiction of a Black Mass conducted by Abbe de N. Giborg during the 17th century. Above the living altar, a naked woman, Giborg holds a baby who has been sacrificed by a slit its throat. On the celebrant's robe is a gigantic inverted cross. This is the true meaning of the inverted cross. Black masses corrupt Christian rituals the same way inverted crosses corrupt Christian symbolism. The black mass is a ritual that is performed in entirety or in part backwards. The mass may include inverting the cross, spitting and stepping on the cross, stabbing the host and other obscenities. Urine, supposedly, was at various times substituted for holy water or for the wine. Sliced pieces of rotted turnips, black leather or black triangles, were substituted for communion bread. Black candles were used instead of white ones. A defrocked priest generally performed the black mass wearing vestments of black, or a color of dried blood, and embroidered with inverted crosses, a goat's head, referring to Baphomet, or magical symbols. Satanic groups still conduct their versions of the black mass that include deviant sexual acts and orgies, necrophilia, of sacrificial victims, including human beings, and drinking the blood of the victims. As seen in previous videos, all of the horrific things described earlier are currently being glamorized by the same people who walk around with inverted crosses. Are those people so devoutly Catholic that they're wearing inverted crosses to celebrate an obscure apocryphal story from the second century? So-called fact-checkers love to dismiss the growing prominence of the inverted cross in popular culture by stating that it is actually the cross of St. Peter. However, they never bother explaining the reasoning behind such a claim. If one goes a bit deeper, this argument will completely fall apart. Why do these people all suddenly have an interest in this Catholic saint, while well, everything else they represent is purely satanic? Fact-checkers throw the claim around and keep repeating it until it becomes accepted. 
Here's the dark truth about the growing prevalence of the inverted cross. Those who rule the world no longer want to hide their symbolism. They want it plastered everywhere because humans have done so since the dawn of time. However, the first rule of Satanists is to deny that they are Satanists. The result is. The inverted cross is everywhere, while a disinformation machine tricks people into thinking that it is a Christian symbol. In the context in which it is used, it is clearly not. The inverted cross is about corruption and perversion. Not only of Christianity, but of society in general. As society degenerates into a modern form of Sodom and Gomorrah, the symbol of the inverted cross becomes more prevalent. That's not a coincidence. Because symbols rule the world. And those who rule the world want us to bow to their symbols. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.